Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on how to find the nth term of a geometric sequence. Okay, so remember when we say nth term, n can be any number. So I could say find the 10th term or the 20th term or the 458th term. Okay, so to figure that out, there's another formula you need to know. Okay, and basically it's a to the first times the common ratio to the power of n minus one. All right. Um, so let's turn the page and take a look at an example here. So here we have uh, the sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, and 48. All right. And so we can tell that the common ratio of this is going to be times 2. All right. So I'm going to write over here. So the common ratio is going to be 2. All right. And a to the 1 means the first term. All right, so a to the one is gonna be, for this, is gonna be three, because that's the first term. And then the n, the n value for this one is gonna be the, the term we want, and that's gonna be the 12. So n is gonna be 12, all right? So to find our answer, which is gonna be a to the n, we're gonna do, right, the first term, which is three, times, okay, our ratio, which is two, times in parenthesis uh, the exponent is going to be um, our n value which is 12 minus 1 so this is going to simplify to 3 times 2 to the 11th power okay now 2 to the 11th power is going to be 2048 and 2048 times 3 okay gives an answer of 6100 and 44. All right, so the 12th term in the sequence, if we kept going, times two will be 6,144. All right, so now that you have a better understanding of how to um, solve the nth term of geometric sequences, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now, and then when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with this uh, your turn problem now, okay? So our sequence, we have 2, 10, 50, and 250. So it appears it's being multiplied by five because uh, two times five is 10, and then 10 times five is 50, and then 50 times five is 250. So our common ratio, our R value is gonna be five. And we wanna know what the 10th term is gonna be, okay? So that means our N value is going to be 10. Our a to the first is, is the first term, so that's going to be 2. So now we have what we need to plug in the values into the formula to figure it out. Okay, So a to the n is going to equal a to the 1, which is our first term, which is 2, times okay, our common ratio, which is 5, to the power of n minus 1, so n is 10, so it'd be 10 minus one, and there it is. So this is really gonna be two times five to the, well, 10 minus one is nine, ninth power, okay? Now five to the ninth power is 1,953,125. It's totally fine to use a calculator for these. All right, times, now times two, and then when I do two times 1,953,125, I get our answer of, I'm going to write it over here, 3,906,250. And there's your answer. So that would be the 10th term, okay, if we keep multiplying each term times 5. All right, how'd you do?